Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra, also known as Key. And if you are new, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell button so you'll be notified every time that I post a new video. Today's video, I am going to be sharing with you all my current natural hair products, but I kind of want to make this a college affordable natural hair product stash because I am in college and all of my natural hair products are here with me everything I use on my hair is here with me and I would consider this college affordable because I don't spend a lot of money on natural hair products I'm just gonna be showing you all everything that I have in my current natural hair stash which is college affordable so I have a cart down here and it has three drawers and pretty much showing you all what products I have in each one. The first drawer is pretty much like gels and stuff like that. The second one is like shampoos, conditioners, styling creams and such. And then my third drawer is like styling tools, combs, brushes, bobby pins. But I also am gonna show you all how I organize my tools and stuff so that I don't lose them and all of that stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first product that isn't in a drawer is this Wet Line Extreme Gel. I found this at Walmart and it was $2.98 and you can't beat that. Everybody compares it to Eco Style. I'm pretty sure you all have seen a lot of videos going around where natural hair YouTubers are reviewing this product but this gel has been around for a really really long time and it kind of just now got to the point where a lot of people are just now noticing it and stuff like that so yeah this was 298 so this is my first drawer right here so first thing is this eco style gel this is the olive oil one a lot of people compare the wet line extreme gel to the eco style gel and eco style gel doesn't cost that much either i think for this size it might be like around three something not much at all i do have some products that were sent to me for free so i'm not really sure if this would be considered college affordable but i do have some ava nyc clean it up shampoo that was given to me free in an influencer box box i have the queen glitter spray and I have some therapy session hair masks by that brand as well and I also have some main magic 10 in 1 primer which is for your hair by Ava NYC I also have a red tail comb and a edge brush I usually keep this one in this top drawer instead of my drawer with all my tools and stuff in it because I use my edge brush every day and more frequently than my other products. I have some Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils Don't Shrink Elongating Curling Gel, which is flaxseed. I got this from the beauty supply store. Can't remember how much it costs, but it wasn't that much at all. Everything I'm showing you is affordable. I might not remember the price. I have this Super Look by Wetline, so I'm guessing this is kind of a knock off of the wetline extreme gel but this is from the dollar tree so it's obviously only a dollar but i guess this is like a dupe a knockoff or whatever but it doesn't work as good as the actual wetline this doesn't have a much of a hold like the wetline does it says extreme hold but it's really not an extreme hold i have some shea butter that i just put in this container i have this garnier fruit teas style curl scrunch controlling gel i have this metal cj walker beauty culture brassica seed oil i got this for free so i'm not sure if this will be on the affordable side or anything like that i have this cream of nature with argan oil this is a twisting custard so this is the twirling custard curl styling gel i have some bella curls jamaican black castor oil hair butter and this can be found at Dollar General. I have some Talia Wajid, I believe that's how you say it, Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. I got this from Walmart for about five or six dollars. I have some Africa's Best Maximum Strength Super Grow Hair and Scalp Conditioner. I have this Eco Pro Flex Gel. 
I got this from the beauty supply store. I have done a video on this hair paint wax on their website. It is $6.99 for this color. I have this Lusty Shea Butter Edge Gel. This is an edge control that was found at the Dollar Tree. Every time I go in there, I don't see it anymore, so I'm not sure if this is just like a limited type of thing or what, but it's some really good edge control for a dollar. I have some Smooth and Shot Intense Moisture Curl Defining Cream. I have some Africa's Best Jamaican Black Castor Growth Oil. And I think I got this from Dollar General. I have some L'Oreal Paris Evolve Extraordinary Oil Camilla and Sunflower Oils. I got this for free, so I'm not sure how much this costs. I have some Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Leave-In Mask for your hair. Got this for free, not sure how much it costs. I have these Invisibubble that I got for free as well in a box box, I believe. I never used these. I probably should go ahead and start using them because I've been seeing a lot of people using these as well. So this is the second drawer, which is like the shampoos, conditioners, styling creams, and all of that stuff. So the first thing, I am just going to show you all of the African Pride hair products that I have. I got every last one of the African Pride products from that line, the Moisture Miracle line, except for the leave-in spray. Instead of the leave-in spray, I got the leave-in cream. So this is the curling cream. Got the curling cream. I got these from Dollar General for about five, four, almost five dollars. Some of them I got from my beauty supply store because not everything was in Dollar General. So I got some from the beauty supply store, which was about five dollars. And then at Dollar General, they were like four dollars. So I got the curling cream. I got the Strengthen and Protect 5 Essentials Oil. I got the Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo, which is so bomb. I can't find it anywhere else. Um, they don't have it in Dollar General, I believe, but I really need to get my hands on some more pre-shampoo. I have the Honey and Coconut Oil Nourishing Sh Shampoo. I have the Honey Chocolate and Coconut Oil Nourish and Restore Conditioner. I have some hair dye by Clairol, which is like a fuchsia color. I never used it because I never planned on dyeing my hair pink. And I probably won't ever dye my hair pink. But if anybody wants this, I'm willing to just give it to them because I really don't need it. But I don't want to throw away a good hair dye that has never been opened or used. I have the Moroccan Clan Shea Butter Detox and Soft and Heat Activated Mask. I have the coconut oil and baobab oil hydrate and strengthen leave-in cream. I have the shea solutions made with shea butter leave-in conditioner. This is from the Dollar Tree and I have the deep moisture shampoo. I also have some cream of nature coconut milk detangling and conditioning shampoo. I have some blue, blue ice methylated scalp spray. I just used this for my scalp when I have like a protective style braids or whatever. Just like my hair now, I've been spraying it on my scalp and stuff just when it gets itchy. So I've been using this. I have some Lusty Olive Oil Detangling Spray. Sometimes I'll use this before I shampoo my hair just to kind of get out any knots and kinks and stuff. I have this L'Oreal Paris Evolve Total Repair 5 Protein Recharge Leave-In Conditioner. It also has heat protectant in it, which is also good if you want to like put some type of heat on your hair. I did get the Swab Professionals um, Natural Hairline. So this is with natural shea butter and pure coconut oil curl defining cream. I have not used this yet, but this was $5. And then I got the... Nourish and Strengthen Leave-In Conditioner, which was also $5. Everything in that line is $5. They do have a shampoo and a conditioner, but I didn't get those two. I just got the leave-in conditioner and the curl defining cream. And this is my last drawer, which is where I put all of my hair tools. But I'm going to show you how I organize some of the stuff in this drawer as well. For my cones, I have shoelaces for when I do my puff, hair ties, and stuff like that. 
they're all in here and I just have it in a Ziploc bag so whenever I wash or style my hair I can just take everything with me instead of having to take everything out one by one which can be kind of time consuming I just bought these hair ties for my hair I do have my knockoff tangle teaser I got this from TJ Maxx so I think it was like $3.99 I have this little sandwich bag that I put my hair jewels in, but as you can see, I don't have that many on there because the majority of them are on my hair. So whenever I have or buy new hair jewels or cuffs, I'm gonna put it in this little sandwich bag. I have my spray bottle, and then I have my hair clips. I decided to put my hair clips in a Ziploc bag as well, just so that they won't be everywhere as well. I have my hair bonnet, and then I have another bag where I have rollers and all of that stuff. So I have some flexi rods and I have some perm rods in here, a couple wig caps and stuff. I have a few more brushes, and I got this brush from the Dollar Tree. I also have another knockoff tangle teaser that I got from the Dollar Tree, and it works just as good as the other tangle teasers. I have a pack of rubber bands. I have a pedal brush right here. And then I have this other brush that I got from the Dollar Tree. I used it a couple times, but I haven't used it in a while. So I have this right here. This is how the bristles and stuff look. And then I have two more hair products in here. So I have this hair mousse right here. I can't pronounce the brand name, but this is it right here. So it is for, I guess it's for curly hair because it says create super silky shiny curls, eliminates frizz, and plus it says curls right here. So I got this right here. I got this from Walmart. And then I have this nice size bottle of shampoo. I want to say I got this from the Dollar Tree. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure. But I have this nice size container of shampoo. Been having this for a while. So this is 20 fluid ounces actually. So this will last you a really long time. So yeah, that was all of my products in my current natural hair product stash hopefully you enjoyed this video and see some products that you would like to test out or just try but like i said all of these products are college affordable everything i buy is not expensive at all especially me being a college student i like to keep everything affordable and yeah so if you have natural hair if you are in college make sure to try out some of these products majority of the products i get are from dollar general or family dollar they are from walmart or the beauty supply store if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to comment like subscribe press the bell button so you'll be notified every time that i upload a new video but aside from that i will see you guys in my next video